Hi and welcome to this Plant Factory tutorial. When you create plants with lots of bending and radius changes, this can lead to less than ideal polygon topology. To deal with these type of situations, there are a few new settings in Plant Factory that we will look at in this video. Here's a mushroom with lots of bending. I left it untextured so that we could see the topology a little better. The axis spline that runs through the segment node has been strongly edited and it is this axis here that is responsible for the mesh topology in Plant Factory. So let's turn on the wireframe and we see numerous problems. We have self-intersecting and overlapping polygons, stretch polygons and other artifacts. In the axis control group in the segment node, there are new controls for fixing these problems. These settings change the axis spline that runs through the mesh, and so they also improve the generated mesh topology. The sampling boost slider here is not new, and it defines merely the computation precision of the axis spline. A higher sampling boost adds more interpolated points along the spline, but this will not solve our problem, so let's have a look at the other settings. Prevent backfolds looks at the axis curvature and limits it at extreme changes so that no overlapping or self-intersecting polygons are created. By increasing this parameter, we already got rid of some problems. Shift to short side will smoothen out any sharp transitions and edges that are close to 90 degrees. This setting only has an effect when you have a variable radius along the segment. It will shift the polygon distribution towards a specific direction which is usually a side of the segment that is physically shorter when you trace the surface of the mesh. In this case though, it messes with the intentional sharp transitions at the edge of the mushroom cap, so here we don't really need the setting. To fine tune the result that we got with the first prevent backfold slider and to create a more regular polygon distribution, we can use the smoothing parameter. As the name suggests, this will apply a smoothing filter to the mesh. The smoothing strength varies based on curvature and radius along the segment. So let's look at what we just produced. To sum up, we were able to go quickly from this to this. The new axis parameters also help greatly when preparing nodes for blending with other nodes. For example, when welding branches in a gnarly tree to a twisted and deformed trunk. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.